Good afternoon, uh, Federico Ferrante here from uh, the Azimo Benetti Group and we are here in uh, Southeast Florida, Fort Lauderdale to introduce to you the brand new Azimo Yachts Verve 42. We introduced the 42 to the world actually at the last, just finished uh, last Fort Lauderdale uh, International Boat Show. So we introduced the product in the Americas as a worldwide premiere and uh, actually this was scheduled to happen at the show and the traffic on board was so incredible so rewarding for us that we actually really haven't been able to lock out an hour to do a walkthrough at the show there was always so much traffic on the boat that we wanted to do it properly and so here we are with you today so we i would like to start actually from here because uh, uh, i always like to talk uh, also a little bit about material construction techniques and so on and so forth Verb 42, the hull, which is from the rub rail down. The rub rail is the area that we use as manufacturer to join the superstructure and the hull. So uh, under, behind every rub rail, there is the junction between the hull and the superstructure. So on the Verb 42, we have a fiberglass hull, which is what you want. A little bit heavier material, you want it in the lower part. You want your center of gravity very low on the boat, the lowest you can. From the rub rail, that's why I give you the rub rail as a reference point. So from the rub rail up and the decks and the door, everything you see is carbon fiber, laminated vinyl ester resin. So uh, that is a very important feature because of course of weight, but also volumes. We are able to create and produce uh, certain sizes and certain volumes in the higher parts of our boats because we use carbon fiber. So you keep the weight down, that means that you can make bigger surfaces. For instance, this R top is so complete, it incorporates a hatch, a, a sliding sunroof, and a sure shade in the back, and it's so wide and comprehensive because it's made of car or carbon fiber. So while we are here, I would say let's approach the transom, which is uh, as usual full of feature. First and foremost, of course, storage. We will go through the entire storage features of the boat. This is one of the coolest and uh, is designed to host uh, up to one sea bob, one inflatable paddleboard, paddle and a variety of other components. This is just to give you an idea of volume. I also like to always use objects to give you a reference. So this is, gives you the perception of the depth and uh, the volume. While you see this bag here, We'll talk about it later, but this contains the filler cushions for the cockpit table. When I want to use it in a sunbed configuration, it comes with filler cushions in that bag. You put it on top of the table, the entire area becomes a sunbathing lounge. Always clever, we, we, we are boater and yachtsman first and then builder. Uh, so we always think about what our customer will like to see in what places. Very clever, you have not only one, but two electrical sockets of course the gfci protected so for external use in marine environment and these are very convenient of course for sea bob to begin with because if you want to recharge it after you use it you put it here and you have your battery charger you charge it here but also a variety of other toys uh, need the battery charger or you can plug in an air compressor for inflatable toys like a paddleboard for instance it's always convenient to have a, a short power socket handy there while we are here very intelligent position for our boarding ladder. We have opted for a removable boarding ladder to grant our customer flexibility. As you can see there are those two holes there and you have another two on the other side exactly the same which means that you can put the boarding ladder either side. So if you raft with this boat with your friends uh, and you have another boat on, the, on one of the two sides you can put the ladder on the other to always uh, be able to board uh, the boat safely. When you don't use the ladder, it's stored here. This, this will be a dead space and uh, instead we very cleverly used to store your ladder. So it's off, out of your way. Uh, while we are in the transom, uh, we'll keep on talking about feature. So this boat would have been possible to be powered by a 30 amps uh, short power cord and instead we have opted for 50 amps and this is the short power cord you see here we use a 50 amps all the way up to 80 feet uh, of course on bigger boats you have two 50 amps 
On this one, as I said, the 30 amps would have been enough. We overpowered with the 50 amp uh, shore power system, so there is plenty of power where you are connected on shore and uh, your life is also easy because of course we equip it with the Glendenny Cable Master. As you can see this switch is the switch that you use to uh, retrieve and, extra and extract uh, your shore power cord. So it's electrically operated, there is a wheel, we'll see it later in the technical space. Just behind this bulkhead there is a wheel, a motor and you don't have to make any effort to take in and out your shore power cable. Of course while we are here this is your shore water inlet. So when you are at the dock, you simply unscrew this uh, cap, connect your water hose to this. You see that there is a first filter here and, uh, and then uh, you are now using water from the dock. So basically what it is, is like being at home. You don't have any more uh, issues with water capacity. You're using uh, the water from the dock. Uh, this is your waste discharge. We'll not talk much about that. Uh, power, triple 450 Mercury Racing. We have uh, simulated different propulsion solution when we were designing uh, the hull, which by the way is designed by Michael Peters, so for us the best uh, hull uh, designer of this kind, uh, double step, tunnel vented. And uh, we concluded uh, with Michael that uh, four, excuse me, three 450s uh, Verado were the best power uh, for this hull. There is definitely no other solution which will make the boat perform uh, better. While we're talking about performance, we sell it for 45 knots, not miles, knots, wide open, cruising all day at 35, 37. Uh, I personally hit uh, for almost 47 and a half, it was in a little light ship condition, so probably will overdo the 45 knots spec that we sell it uh, at. Um, while we are here and you are there, I want to show the size of this uh, uh, beach platform. We wanted to provide this 42 with the same square footage of the 47 uh, beach platform. As you can see, we have been able to achieve it by integrating part of the transom. So now the swim platform starts from uh, the beach platform and uh, fold all the way down. And of course, as you can see, incorporates a side boarding gate, uh, which is extremely conveniently located for board and deboard and uh, also disappear in a very flush uh, environment. The hinges are very rounded, they don't bother you on your feet, and uh, the area is fully usable. We work also on this design quite a bit with the, the designer, which is Francesco Struglia, the same of the Azimut Verve 47, so he did the exterior and the interior, and we wanted this area to be the roundest possible in order to you know, facilitate the ingress and egress to the beach platform in full uh, safety. Talking about safety, picture now the platform closed and now you have kids on board. Of course, you want a very safe gate, our gate. This is the same gate system we use on all our Azimut, so there is no shortcut of any kind. Uh, actually, quite the opposite, the Ver 42, uh, if anything, is oversized, oversized and overpowered. Uh, but this is, of course, a safety gate, so once the platform is closed, you can close completely the cockpit. If you have a kids, uh, they will not be able to fall overboard or go out. Let's walk, while we talk about it, into the cockpit. The cockpit is uh, an array of uh, features. Uh, we can talk probably an hour only in the cockpit. I will, of course, try to be shorter. The table. The table is our signature on the 47, you guys probably have seen that. And uh, so, of course, three position, you'll see and you'll understand that I will not go through the movement because I don't want to waste more of your time. Uh, flush creates a completely free cockpit. So imagine all this space is now available. You're scuba diving, you're kite surfing, you need to move equipment and toys around. You don't want a big table in the middle of your way. So you put it all the way down, it completely disappears. It matches the deck, as you can see, the lines. So it really disappear also elegantly. Uh, midway, midway gets to here. We'll talk about it before. You have those filler cushion. Imagine now this entire area become a huge sun bed with those filler cushion and then of course you bring it all the way up like you see it now of course uh, it comes uh, with a custom leatherette cover which is nag on top of the table you don't want to eat where you were walking five minutes before we, we understand that and so the table is provided with a cover uh, made exactly for 
the purpose to you know keep the service where you eat or where you lounge in any way uh, clean and not uh, the same where you were walking before. We'll talk about movements that you are there. So this is actually the area where isolated and protected we have put all the movements. So this one here is the movement of the platform, open, close, of course, stable, up and down, and of course, TV, up and down. And while you're at it, uh, this is of course the TV for the cockpit in the upper position. I already bring it up so I don't have to waste your time looking at things going up and down, but that gives you an idea of how comprehensive the cockpit is in terms of uh, lounging. Of course, when the table is up in this configuration, you have an incredible alfresco dining uh, possibilities through the sure shade. This is American product integrated in the hardtop. You wouldn't know if I wouldn't tell you, meaning it's seamlessly located in here. And uh, with the press of the button, the sure shade comes out and create a perfect shading for this area. While we are here, also cleverly located is your shower. So you get out of the salt water. You want to refresh with fresh water. This is hot and cold water. Shower perfectly located in this compartment. You put it down, it disappears, and the compartment closes and keeps everything clean and safe. Sofa, look at this. We said before we're going to throw, go through all the storage potential of this boat. Look at the amount of storage you have in this compartment so you can imagine the array of uh, products and um, cleaning products toys i mean shoes uh, you name it so there is ton of uh, storage available here under this side of the sofa and you will also appreciate some very interesting features on this uh, 42 because we wanted to provide a purpose for every single inch of volume as usual so of course your cup holders and your stereo system you see while you're here but also this corner this little pizza slice corner is an insulated drain the first of three outdoor insulated drain ice boxes and i want them filled with ice and drinks just to give exactly an idea of the amount of volume uh, this uh, can uh, create again insulated and drain ice boxes for extra refrigeration capacity while we're talking about that this is your main insulated drain ice box check this out you can't tell me that on a verb 42 a day on the water you run out of cold drinks because then then you probably have a problem you'll see the amount of uh, refrigeration capacity of this boat is uh, second to known not even on a 70 footer we have the amount of refrigerated storage we have on this incredible 42 verb talking about such ice maker power dice maker here power refrigerator here and we'll see there is another two refrigerators and refrigerator ice boxes in other areas that's why I'm saying the refrigeration capacity on this ver 42 is simply phenomenal this is your trash bin double recycle integrated and the last one there is of course storage grilling uh, tools uh, rubs and uh, sauces and you name it so my shoes uh, everything fits in there while we are on the outdoor kitchen echo look at this look how elegant this uh, piece of furniture is of course floating led lighting on the bottom so it gives you really this effect of being a beautiful piece uh, of furniture and then when you need it to work you just lift up this cover we made it in such a way where it's extremely versatile so you see it here of course with two grills it can be one grill therefore more countertop one cooktop if you prefer two grills a grill and a cooktop two grills and a cooktop so it's designed to host it up to three canyon appliances cooktop or grill mixed as the customer likes of course the sink is molded so you always have the sink so in this miracle of engineering again i summarize ice maker storage refrigerator double trash bin embedded sink and room for three canyon appliances all in this box ah, actually before i forget let's see that let's let's pretend that you have two appliances or three and you want more counter space we equip every verve with uh, 
a removable additional countertop which uh, basically uh, grab onto this rail and imagine here now wherever you want because you can slide whatever position is convenient and comfortable for you you have an extra uh, countertop space so for cutting uh, and grilling cutting your veggies or you want to you don't want to mix veggies and fish veggies and meat so you imagine you have an extra cutting board here so we close this and while we are here actually I want you to a look up so this is where the Italian design Francesco Strulia creativity came come into place you see this ceiling as a bent of course uh, is uh, purpose and has an LED light and then we created this incredible effect this is the Azimut Yachts logo if you see my shirt here is the same we call it Stilema is our logo and is a uh, molded into this a ceiling panel which not only has the logo but also please note it fades away so to make the mold of this ceiling was literally a nightmare for our engineer and GRP team but they made it and uh, it's just uh, one of those touches that this could have been easily a flat ceiling nobody would have ever complained about it and instead is the touch of design that Francesco created which uh, especially at night we saw it the last week at the show when the night comes and the LED uh, create this light effect is just uh, beautiful unbelievable and distinctive uh, unique and that's why Italians and specifically Azimut Yachts makes product that have always those extra features let's go now into instead very technical and pragmatic element this is the technical space which uh, of course we're talking about 42 feet so maybe I will go down there and start uh, showing things there is uh, no room for the two of us we will be too close to each other but um, it's very it's very I want to be here because it's very conveniently everything is conveniently placed first and foremost my fuel filters one two three their first thing very important on gasoline engines to have them handy fuel filter diesel filter for the generator which is right here is a Kohler 11 kW so again ton of power for 42 feet your fuel filter is here your generator is there your battery chargers are two of them are here there is one behind the electrical panel there they do the engine and generator batteries these are small babies here and then the big guy over there which says 2460 that is the service battery so 24 volt uh, service battery charger uh, again oversized uh, these are your steering components of the three engines from mercury and we have a common uh, raw water distribution uh, area here so you have uh, two strainers very conveniently located they are right there very accessible one per side they get water and make it convey into this distribution uh, tank and then from here you have water going uh, uh, through your sea keeper which is behind this bulkhead you have your sea keeper number five it goes to your air conditioning system and to your generator so this is the distribution tank for uh, all your raw water need over there you have your battery boxes service and engines and here behind me uh, again conveniently located because this is things those are all things that you want to be able to access fairly easy so this is your black water tank as you can see black water pump so very easy to replace in case of need here you have your air conditioning raw water pump air conditioning chill water pump fresh water pump so everything is all your pumps are here conveniently located in case of need uh, that is the short power cable reel that we talked about before the Glen Denning you see is a reel electrically operated so that's what makes your short power go in and out if you're wondering what these are these are not the air compressed line those are drainages in case water get into this uh, uh, table mechanism which are electrically operated but insulated water is drained away from these blue lines of course here is your sea fire firefighting system and uh, again the space uh, is compact it's 42 feet but I'm in it and everything is uh, easy uh, to work on so let me get out of here and uh, we'll uh, keep on touring this 42 verb close this down safely lock in place done 
So let's now move, uh, you go that way, I go this way, so we give uh, them the feeling of the space that you have to uh, move around. On the 47, if you remember, this area we decided to close it. Uh, the spaces are bigger and so there is, uh, uh, you know, more room and the cockpit is bigger, everything is bigger. On the 42, the volumes are more contained, so we opted and was, uh, I think, a very intelligent decision. We opted for uh, um, you know, a centerpiece with possibility to walk around it. So if you want, and if you have people which want to move from one area to the other of the boat, it's easier to move around. So you can see I can go from here to the cockpit and uh, back on either side. We are now at the helm. We have uh, a lot going on in this helm. First of all, the easy stuff first. I'm six feet and I tried uh, the boat with and without the platform down. I'm uh, actually almost barely, uh, but I'm, I'm fine this way. I don't need the extension. My height is perfect. My, vis my visibility is good. Boat uh, maneuvering, uh, you know, or cruising, I'm, I'm fine like this. Uh, for people taller than me, this will work even more, of course. If you are shorter instead, um, you know, we have created, of course, an, a deck extension, which fold down super easy and provide you provided those uh, seven, eight extra inches. So now I am elevated. This for me is almost too high. I can do it, it's almost too high though. But for anybody shorter, uh, this probably will create your perfect visibility condition. If you need it, you put it down. If you don't, you put it up. You might wonder why we made it in contrast color versus the deck, doesn't follow the pattern of the deck purposely. There is a lot of things that we thought about here with safety in mind. We want this to be as visible as possible when it's folded down to avoid people to trip on it. So if we would have done it the same look of the deck, it would have been probably nicer, but a more potential for a trip hazard versus in full contrast with the deck, uh, your brain is more, uh, you know, inclined to see a, an obstacle and uh, walk over it rather than don't. Um, this here is a very, is a, everything is a thought, so foot rest for your passenger seat. So when you're sitting in this area, of course, the door is here, so you cannot, well, you can, but, you know, this is also an extra dedicated uh, step foot for this uh, seat right here. Uh, keep on talking about the elm. Um, of course, we offer three seats. This seat here is an option. If you don't order it, this area is actually empty, which uh, we saw it without the seat. It's actually not bad. Uh, there is uh, a tray where you can put uh, things, a phone, your wallet, or whatever. So it comes with, a, it's not simply a, a hole with no purpose. We give it a purpose with a, with a, a pocket uh, emptier tray. And instead, if you want three seats, which so far everybody ordered, you can order uh, the third seat. The center seat is electrically operated up and down, back and forth. Uh, so you see the two switches control the up and down and back and forth movement. And the third seat on this side instead is fixed. Let's talk about features here. Uh, we have our Raymarine monitoring system. So through your plotters, uh, you monitor on top of your standard features of, uh, of course, uh, sharp plotting, uh, radar, and uh, sounder, uh, deep sounder, and so on and so forth. You also control several systems on board. This is the page of the bilges, always very important. So you can turn on and off your bilge pumps or see if there is any bilge pump uh, active uh, because water is in your bilges. Then this is your power uh, page, if you wish, where you can uh, control and see uh, all your uh, DC power uh, on board. So you see you have the generator batteries, now the switch is open, so you see zero voltage. We have all the switch of the engine batteries closed, so you have all the voltage of your engine batteries and of course your service and bow thruster battery. This is what we call the navigation page. This is the page that you probably need to take a look at when you are out at sea. Of course, because you can control your navigation lights and your anchor lights from there, you can dim your instrument panel. You can also check uh, the level of your tanks. You see diesel, gasoline, and fresh water. Uh, fresh water goes without saying. Gasoline and diesel is because gasoline power your triple 450 Verados, 
and the diesel power your 11 kW generator. Talking about gasoline, you have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, all our specs are online, but uh, uh, I'm pretty sure we have 462 gallons, US gallons of gas, uh, which provide the boat with a little over 200 miles range at cruising speed. So, you know, definitely a very comprehensive, a good range for 42 feet um, to go anywhere you want and come back and stay out even a couple of days. Uh, you have uh, also your black water and gray water indication and pump control, uh, your windless uh, measurement of a chain, and of course the control for your windshield wiper and your windshield washer. Light. Light is also very cleverly done because it's very logic and uh, uh, I personally am uh, strongly behind logic, simple and functioning. And uh, so here you see the, you divide the areas between inside and outside, internal, external. And uh, with four buttons, you already can create uh, uh, scenarios uh, which to me satisfy everything you need on a boat like this. So you can all off, all on, 20% on, 50% on. So then if you really want to go and turn a light on in a specific area, you need to go in that area and operate the switch. But otherwise from here, you can control all your internal and external lights and it shows you exactly what you have where uh, with the press of a button from a single location. Of course there are switches dedicated to uh, you know every area in the areas themselves. This is the page for settings of course you can set your languages your unit of measure and so on and so forth. This is very important is your page for uh, the uh, alarm. For instance, this is very interesting, look how responsive and intelligent the system here. It's telling us that the platform is down, which you will tell me, okay, hello, I know, uh, I can see it, but sometimes when it's down for a while and maybe a couple of beers later, uh, it's possible to forget. That will not allow the engine to start. And also, it's telling me that I have the engine ignition on, so I have my keys turned on the on position, but I still have my shore power cord connected. This is actually more common mistake than that you forget your shore power connected, you prepare everything else and off you go and you wouldn't be the first or the last which leave the dock with the shore power still connected and you break, you break it off the pedestal. So this is a very intelligent alarm which helps you and prevents uh, you to make damages. Um, these are on the other plotter and you can split the plotters, you can do anything you want in terms of uh, creating uh, whatever makes you feel more uh, comfortable. Probably uh, this will be uh, more of a page uh, of uh, you know where you would leave uh, uh, I guess your chart plotter here and uh, here maybe your controls or deep sand or your radar. These also give you all the information for of your engines. You see one, two, three and uh, an array of other pages. This is your autopilot and speed and depth sounder. So very comprehensive. On top of this, so as I can see, as I told you, you can see your engines in this page, but also here you have uh, the uh, factory Mercury, uh, you know, vessel view system, which uh, shows all the information of the engines, the alarms and the communication pattern as well here. Talking about Mercury, um, we'll see it also later in our dynamic uh, test that we'll do on this VER42, but of course we have the incredible Mercury joystick. I am extremely uh, found on this uh, system. It's, it's really amazing what you can do with this. Maneuvering became really a, a, a game for kids. It's so easy. Uh, you have your skyhook feature here, so again, you want to go boating by yourself, you want to put in and out your fenders, you're waiting at the bridge, you're waiting at the gas uh, dock, you just press this button and uh, the boat will stay exactly at, in the spot, in the position with the same heading bow where you press the button. You can control the power of your joystick in maneuvering mode and of course it works as an autopilot, so you can adjust your degrees and correct your route when you have the autopilot feature engaged. This is another very cool feature. These are the new Mercury controls and uh, they incorporate a couple of things which tells you that they listen to the market and they give us what basically we want. Number one, you can stop and start all your engine package, in this case three, from here. From one button, this uh, start a cycle of starting and then stopping 
all three engines. Of course, you can do them one by one from here, but, uh, you know, Mm, this is a shortcut which is very clever same goes with the trim this adjusts the trim of all three engines with one switch and then here you have instead the, the trim of each if you want to play with each one differently you do it from here but here actually you have the uh, trim control of all of them and also last but surely uh, not least they have integrated the active trim you remember on older boats you had an actually dedicated panel that for us manufacturer is always a pain because we need to put it somewhere and uh, you know it's an extra panel it pollutes the beauty and the aesthetics of the helms they have been very clever they integrated the active train in the controls active trim what this is once you press this button instead of constantly and manually adjust the trim of uh, the engines this has an inertial platform integrated in the brain of the Mercury system which adjusts the trim of the engines depending on the trim of the boat automatically. You don't have to do anything. Talking about trim, Humphrey. We opted for Humphrey to control our trim and list. So Humphrey system again very clever because it's a zero drag system. Instead of being your traditional trim tabs, these are blades which are installed on the transom, so they're vertical. When they are in a zero trim mode, they basically disappear. There is no appendixes, there is no drug, no resistance in the water, so they hide behind the transom. And then when, you, when they need to adjust your trim, so to put your bow down, you have blades which comes down, and of course the resistance with the water automatically put your bow down, and then the movement between the two adjusts your list. And all this happens automatically. So once you put it in auto trim and auto list, the captain, the customer, doesn't have to worry about anything. So you put uh, your active trim in auto here, you am free in auto trim and auto list, and you worry only about speed and route. If you put it in autopilot, of course, you just worry about controlling that everything goes smoothly, but you don't have to interact and waste your time touching uh, equipment. Uh, talking about the helm, air conditioning, extremely powerful. You see four um, outlet of AC blowing in the helm. And also we provide the 42 with uh, an openable hatch, electrically operated. And uh, the breaker must be off. Okay, we'll talk about the hatch. Uh, while we open the electrical roof, sorry, the breaker of the hatch must be off, but anyway, it's pretty clear. You open and close the hatch from these two buttons here. That hatch opens, is counter facing uh, your direction, so it provides you a nice, beautiful airflow uh, in your face. And then instead, we introduce a new for the 42 verb an openable roof. German brand, Webasto, from their catalog, so extremely reliable, widely distributed, parts are available, and uh, we are very happy. It's extremely quiet and uh, fast in the movement, as you can see. So we are very pleased, as it's an extra feature that provides a very dynamic uh, uh, helm effect. I would say that we are uh, almost done, because while I look there, uh, I always get impressed by the Francesco Struglia design of these uh, side windows and uh, that uh, uh, I always like to uh, remind myself first that they offer basically three, uh, they are triple feature uh, windows. One is of course design, the way they look from the outside, the look of the boat, they incorporate those windows, they are, they're just beautiful. Number two is a cool factor and we'll see it also during our sea trial. When you go fast, that is exactly the area where you have the white foamy water pass by and give you really the feeling of sportiness and the speed that you are, uh, you know, gliding onto the water. But also, uh, third, uh, is uh, a very practical element, which in, uh, when you're maneuvering in tight spaces, especially with the joystick, you tend to push yourself a little further and squeeze the boat in tighter spaces that you wouldn't without. Uh, gives you perfect visibility. You see, I'm here and I can see if I have a low floating dock, like in that case, for instance, I will be perfectly able to see through the window how much distance I have from anything protruding from the dock and potentially be dangerous for the boat. So again, triple feature of the Francesco Struglia signature uh, design window. We mentioned the Sea Keeper when we were in the engine room. So this is, of course, your Sea Keeper control. 
uh, that you can also control from uh, um, your plotter here for instance you see uh, yeah, whatever uh, piece of equipment that, that have apps they integrate into the plotters nowadays so you can control your SeaKeeper even from your plotter. The audio video system is uh, uh, Fusion, best brand uh, in the industry for this kind of product uh, right now on the market so uh, abundance of cup holders you will see it everywhere we have four on in the main hand. We also focus a lot in the positioning and sizing of our handrails. So you see we have a very solid good handrail here which uh, is to come in and out from the lower deck but we also created this extra cut in the profile of this wind protection uh, plexiglass in order to grant in case of need in case of bad weather another very solid handrail uh, positioning and while we're here you know another of course a handrail on this side so you see I'm moving from the helm and again this all comes in in bad weather here but again one two three so I have a very solid uh, handling uh, solutions there let's move to the bow while we are here we have uh, offered very simple double position uh, foldable backrest so you have uh, all the way down and then first degree folding second degree folding and all the way down uh, we opted uh, to do an asymmetric layout, layout on this 42 so you can see that you come to the bow only from the port side which is very generous and you can still go from the starboard side in case of need there is a step on the starboard side of the helm and there is a, a, a little sidewalk on that side but is uh, the, the, the design is definitely asymmetric and this is to provide this incredible uh, sunbathing area uh, which again I always like to give you also a feeling of ergonomics so I don't mind uh, putting myself here to give you a perfect feeling that for adults will be able to perfectly sunbathe on this 42 footer sunbathing area in comfort and this is because here we came almost all the way to the hull while we are here a uh, clever solution so number one the cushioning goes all the way creating extra space but then again we don't want to waste any space as i said so this opens and uh, it comes with this bag which has the four slots for this carbon fiber custom made bow bimini holders so you put your poles in here they are divided so you don't you want to make sure they always stay nice and shiny they don't get scratched so they come with their own bag and once they are in the bag they perfectly store in this compartment so we'll see now here in the bow that everything you need for the bow is in the bow this bag right here for instance is the bag for the sunshade itself which will show you where is going to go and then once you're done you put the cushion down and your poles are here in this perfect po pocket without the need to go anywhere else to get them while we are here and we are talking about logistics and ergonomics uh, of course a c-shape sofa uh, i was in savona was uh, the end of august when we were doing the testing on the prototype and we actually, believe it or not, we did a meeting here. It was myself and four uh, other team members of our engineering department, and we were discussing uh, features and uh, our impression. We just did uh, one of the multiple C trials. So we were talking about the product. It was five adults. We have spent an hour working here, not even lounging in a beautiful uh, landscape. We were really working with paper on the table, and uh, five adults, and we were absolutely comfortable your back support is phenomenal you can really spend a, a lot of time in comfort here lounging position the table is perfectly located you can put your feet on it enjoy a scotch and a cigar at night chit chatting having a snack having an aperitivo a glass of champagne uh, is really a very versatile area talking about the table also here we have a very clever uh, solution so first of all I wanted to appreciate the beauty of this. This is silver carbon fiber. Obviously on video you cannot feel the weight, but I hope that my little two fingers holding it give you at least an idea. And uh, so this is your table, which comes off very simple mechanism. You have uh, a locking system here, which uh, 
uh, goes into this and lock the, system, the table in place. And if you actually get up and sit there, I'll show you where you when you don't use it where the actual table uh, goes because uh, is a, a phenomenal idea which takes it completely out of the way of the customer and uh, you put it here you see it has uh, female feet lock receivers here and the base there so what you do you put your table in this position press it down don't be scared because they are designed to hold and uh, this protected you put it down and your table disappear and uh, it's not going to go anywhere you see the amount of uh, pressure and uh, actually to take it out is not easy one might think it's not excuse me it's not difficult i meant and uh, you have these two pockets perfectly done for your hands take it off and uh, re-put it back in place which is what we will do right now so but i wanted to give you a feeling and an idea of everything is taught on this boat nothing is left uh, to the case uh, same goes with the legs again very easy push mechanism to uh, take it off the deck and i want to demonstrate this because look the, the, the leg is out these are completely flash the deck becomes of course much bigger now you don't have the leg and the table and you have zero friction or zero effects on your feet is perfectly walkable, walkable surface here you put your leg you lift this storage compartment and you see those two elements right there there are those are designed to hold the leg in place in addition to a bunch of other storage which goes all the way down there so again you have a full table here which when you need it is out when you don't when you don't it completely disappear in very intelligent uh, an intelligent located a solution and position uh, to have it hold away. So in that storage where the leg table uh, goes, of course, it will be perfect for the bag, the white bag we saw in the other compartment there to store this. So again, from here to here, you have the table leg, the table, the four legs of the bimini and the bimini sail all here. So bad weather, you gotta go, you wanna take off very quick, you take it off in two minutes, you store everything where it belongs, and off you go. While we are here, remember we talked before about refrigeration, so God forbid, here another powered and the refrigerated ice box. So this is powered and drained, so with or without ice, still keep uh, your drinks nice and cold. You have, uh, we also wanted to give a little storage area here. Uh, imagine coasters, bottle opener, uh, you know, all those little things that you want to have uh, close to a refrigerator, why not? There is a little pocket here which can host them. Of course, cup holder, you have seen subwoofer speaker, so uh, you have uh, music in the bow and uh, cup holders and bottle holders uh, throughout. And uh, actually very, but the one in the center is your uh, windlass. Always remember this, this is good, this is always have to be strong and in place. I see so many boats where customers or whomever is in charge forget this and you see them hanging. Never, please, always remember. It's really a second which can prevent a big, big problem. Here is your anchor control remote which comes with LED light. So very handy for night uh, anchoring. Uh, you know to see what is going on under there you always want to see what happened with your anchor and then you store it here perfectly protected and look at this just give a look down because the only thing I want to show is how deep this anchor locker is which means that uh, is the perfect storage for fenders ball fenders and uh, you name it you have a lot of room to store equipment here um, I will say that we are ready to go down to the lower deck. I think we talk about everything, but while we are here, of course, this unit is equipped with our premium audio video system. So you have a satellite TV. That is, uh, those are the domes. One is the TV antenna, the other one is a dummy dome. So they look symmetrical and beautiful. Searchlight, rather, everything echo. What you can appreciate here is the quality. Look at the amount of metal sparkle that you have in our paint job. And uh, the beauty of the 100% gloss black antenna. All of this uh, created that effect. And uh, here you can also see this detail, which as you have seen 
is also in the air intake, which have an LED light incorporated into the air intake. So at night, you have the LED light showing that contrast color is in the bow, is in the floating line. And as you can see from there, is also in the engine decals. We call this the Sapphire Edition paint scheme, where all the white surfaces are gel coat. So a little bit easier to maintain and care of than uh, full paint, but also Francesco Strulli has been able to create uh, this uh, very interesting contrast color, which in this case we see in this sapphire blue, we offer it in any color the customer wants. And of course we offer the boat in a full paint scheme if the customer wanted, but we thought that this uh, combination leaving uh, some uh, areas in white gel coat would be appreciated because it's just easier to handle and and more reasonable in price in case you hit something and you will need to fix a scratch. Gel coat is definitely easier than, than cheaper than, than paint to fix. Let's go down to the lower deck. Now, you will see how complete these 42 feet. If I think about it, we are in 42 feet is again a miracle of uh, engineering. And I will start actually from the most odd probably uh, elements of the lower deck, my, in my opinion, one of the most important, which is the head. Like on the 47 verve, we really work and focus a lot on the head. This head is definitely oversized for 42 feet, and you can see from the shower. So 42 feet again, we have a fully enclosed shower with the glass door, and the shower, I always like to show the ergonomics, a rain shower, my foam shower here and uh, six feet, 175 pounds. I have zero restriction. I can take a shower like I am at home. We have incorporated a bench. You know, girls always like the bench so they can shave their legs. So the bench is perfectly positioned. And this is your shelf with the retainer for your uh, shampoos and soaps. And uh, so again, oversized shower and oversized head. You can see the sizes here residential side sink, a ton of storage here and here to have uh, obviously a variety of uh, uh, you know accessories be always handy. Uh, we, this is the same size toilets we use on all our other collections so there is no shortcuts here. Uh, the ergonomics are extremely comfortable we offer, we'll see, sleeping accommodation, very comfortable sleeping accommodation for four people on this Verve 42. Some of our customers will sure enjoy that and spend many nights out and sleeping on board. Some others, uh, uh, you know, they, they rather use the boat as a day boat. And some others, uh, with our Benetti and Azimo Grande collections especially, they like uh, to buy the Verve as the, what they call their chase boat. So it's the, it's the boat that they have they either tow it or chase the larger boat and they use it to go to the beach, to go to the restaurants and so on and so forth. So this to say what? That why we focus so much on the heads? Uh, because not necessarily everybody will sleep on board, but if they do, of course, the first in line, they will enjoy an oversized head. But for sure, everybody on board will use the head. And so that's why compared to the competition, there is no competition. I mean, it's, it's a very oversized and uh, full area. Let's move to the galley. Again, also fully equipped. We opted to introduce this, uh, the new model with one, with a single burner, Canyon. Uh, there is room for a double, of course. Uh, we prefer to introduce the product with more countertop and less cooking top, but it is possible to have uh, a, a double. Uh, we don't think people will cook gourmet dinner here, uh, so one is probably enough, especially while you have the outdoor kitchen there. Uh, every single inch of storage, as I always say, is used, so you have three uh, bottle holder here, and then you have uh, three storage compartments, which use the entire depth of that area to store uh, kitchen cabinet. You will see every single locker has a very strong and oversized uh, inches, uh, retaining mechanism and pull. So every time you hear those kind of sounds is because again it's a 45 knots boat designed to go fast, designed to go we through weather and uh, every single element uh, is uh, made to stay close when is the case. Sink. This is a, a combined microwave oven 
Miele, so a great brand, this is a residential uh, appliance, no shortcut here either. And, uh, but of course you have the little details of, uh, you know, the safety retainer. So when you go out in the water, always remember to lock your appliances. The same goes with the wine cooler, six bottle wine cooler. The same we use on the 47 verb. And also here you have your safety mechanism, which uh, keeps your wine safe. Storage, big, nice, deep, and long drawer here. And this is instead is uh, almost as deep, but uh, you know, a door storage unit. Behind here we have uh, our electrical uh, panel. We'll, show you, we'll see it later when we go out. And this is instead is your quick access. So these are your, of course, your engine, but very conveniently located is your genset starts and stop and uh, selection. As I always say, remember to start your generator without load is always better. And then put loads on it if you can. We'll extend this lifespan. And this is your uh, AC power. So it tells you that right now we have 224 volts and we are using 2.5 uh, amps of AC power. Let's go uh, back into the galley storage. As I said, there is locking mechanism for everything. This will be your China. Right now we put our remote control in here, but this typically will be your China. And uh, your trash, of course, with a larger N recycle is located here. And this is yet another refrigerator. This, we have some nice pastries here, drawer here. So again, this is the fifth uh, refrigerator on board in 42 feet. That is storage, that is storage. And now if you, we move around, you might wonder why this open in opposite direction. Uh, these Italians, uh, why they do these strange things? Actually, there is a lot of thinking uh, behind this, believe it or not. We needed to provide some storage for clothing. Uh, so this is uh, your hanging bar and you can put clothing, flip-flops and uh, you know, your, your necessities in terms of clothing in this area right here. This one here can be used for clothing as well or we see most likely will instead be used as a, a sort of a pantry. Here will probably be more food or snacks or chips or nuts, uh, uh, you know, food uh, of, of a variety, uh, canned food. So this, look at the volume, very big, very spacious. So this is why we wanted this door to open this way because we figure most likely this will be a pantry with food and uh, this door instead to open this way so when you are in this cabin, uh, this is more where you will naturally take your clothes out before going out. While we talk about this area, this is also full of uh, features. Number one, beautiful uh, table with a lacquer black trim. And uh, here is electrically operated. This is your control for your table. You see it's going down now. And uh, this means that, of course, this uh, entire area converts into the V-Bird, the, the a cabin, if you wish. Uh, this converts into an oversized large bed. So when the table is down, of course, you need the filler cushions. And this is where, again, I think Italian creativity and uh, we are used to, to, to live in tight spaces, you know, it's 61, 62 million people in a country just a little bit bigger than Florida. And our homes are smaller, our roads are smaller, so we need to uh, make a clever usage of uh, space because we don't have much. So this is where, when you want to transform this bed, this uh, table into a bed, all right now they are not here. Uh, they remove them, but the filler cushions stays under this uh, storage place. So when you need them, they're here. When you don't, you put them back in place. You put this down, you re-put back your... Uh, this is why this uh, sofa is made in three pieces, this, this, this uh, section of the sofa, so it's easier to handle. You don't have a big piece uh, that is uh, diff more difficult to move, and then you put it back and off you go. Now you are in your dining configuration because outside is too cold or too hot or rainy and you want to spend some time and dine inside and you want to make sure that 
you provide some decent back support to the person sitting here. So you lift this and you have beautiful, comfortable back support for more of a dining configuration. And when you want to put it back into a lounging configuration, you just pull it up, put it down, you put your cushions here, and I'll show you now that once the table is down, if you want to, but you don't have to, and uh, you put a couple of cushions here, behind this beautiful mirror, there is a 42 inch TV, and this is now your perfect lounging solution where you and uh, your significant other friend, uh, wife, you can watch uh, a beautiful movie. Again, satellite TV, 42 inches there, 42 inches there. So two television in 42 feet, both beautifully hidden. We don't like television as uh, the appliance itself. Uh, wherever we can, we hide them. And also on the Ver 42, it's behind the mirror as uh, the rest of our range. And that one, once you push a button, goes down and disappears into a cabinet. So you don't need to look at the ugly appliance of an off television. When the television is on and you're watching now a beautiful movie, then of course you see it. While we are here, storage everywhere. So you'll see deep storage on both sides. Uh, cleverly located phone charger here. You just put your phone on this uh, surface. Everybody knows about this now. Cap holders and uh, USB 3, USB 2 charger here. So everything is made and designed for the life we live today. Uh, you can't tell me that here you're missing a phone charger or iPad charging uh, station. You have a three charging uh, option in basically three feet. Uh, reading lights, so in case you wanna be here at night and sleep and uh, read a book, you have your reading lights. Don't move from there, stay there, follow me, but stay there. Because I'll show you, because people might wonder, excuse me, but if you sleep there, you're basically in the middle of the boat, not really. Italians, again, look at this. Super clever design. This is an integrated roller. It locks in three position. We see, for instance, if you don't want it completely closed, you lock it here. It can lock down here when you see this other indent, or it goes all the way down and create a full privacy environment. By pressing this spring-loaded mechanism, it locks automatically in its own position, I want to release it and disappears basically into the ceiling. So you can create this as a, a completely separated from a light standpoint, a completely separated and dark area where you can definitely spend a good night of sleep. And then you release this, the curtain rolls back up, disappear for the rest of the day on board. So I think this is a very clever, intelligent solution. I think if I would have not told you uh, yeah, of course, you see this black trim, but, you know, it's perfectly integrated. And once you know what that is for, it's so clever and smart that you actually, I think, I personally appreciate the engineering behind this. Now let's go into uh, the actual cabin. So it's what we call a dive cabin. So, but we need to notice that the, 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 the entrance, so this area is actually very, very tall, very uh, convenient. Of course, now we are in 42 feet. So once you get here, you need to sit down in order to get to bed. These are decoration elements, which I will put here for the moment, hopefully without making too much of a mess. And uh, because I want to give you a feeling as usual of the ergonomics sizing. So this is a very comfortable bed. Again, I have an array of decor cushions here, which you would not have on board, or at least I would not have on board. So if I put it now in normal bed configuration, and gives you a very good idea of the sizing. Look at this bed, 42 feet. Again, I'm six feet, 175 pounds. I mean, I can spend countless nights here sleeping with my wife without any problem. So it's very comfortable, great time. There, I have a portal, so natural light, natural ventilation for the cabin. And behind me here, there is another source of natural light with a little curtain, as you can see. While you're here, of course, a third television. So full audio video system for this cabin. And again, this cabin is perfect, of course, uh, for the owner to sleep on board or more uh, likely uh, owners with uh, young kids which still have to take naps in the afternoon or they want to uh, take them off the sun for a while and 
a perfect cabin to throw two, three kids in here, watch a movie, play video games. That's why we also put the TV here. But behind the TV, again, clever usage of space. So these are all shelving. That's an UPS. There was really no other room to put it. Everything is packed, but also provide extra source for uh, power in case of need. But everything else is available, usable uh, storage. Behind the bed here, there is another storage solution. Uh, again, books, magazines, or underwear, socks. I mean, this uh, bathing suits. So this area is all uh, storage available. And this cabinet right here is actually pretty deep, nice shelves. And uh, this is also extra storage, very abundant for the cabin. So again, I think we, we, there is really, there is no other volume available to use for storage on this 42 verb. Uh, of course, under the mattress, there is uh, uh, the entire area here is available storage, perfect for uh, uh, suitcases, luggages, and uh, extra towels, extra sheets, uh, blankets uh, for cold weather. So under the bed is uh, all uh, storage compartment. And I think we are done. I believe we cover really the entire boat. Uh, these uh, hatches that you see openable here are all uh, to access technical compartment. The one under ta the table, for instance, access the fan coil uh, for that area. So the filter is extremely easy, easily accessible. And uh, I, think, uh, I think we're done. Of course, if you have any question, Feel free to contact us, contact our dealer network in the United States Marine Max. And, uh, but other than that, um, I think they're done. I thank you for your time. I hope it was uh, good and uh, comprehensive. I tried to show everything in the most uh, fast possible way. And uh, again, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.